Hi guys! So this is going to be all about week 33. I'm 34 weeks pregnant today. And I know it's crazy, it's crazy, but next week it'll be crazy when I'm 35 weeks pregnant. Oh my gosh. Okay, so getting started because there's a lot this week. Um, as far as symptoms go, just regular pregnancy symptoms, um, I've been having that refluxy, just yucky wet burps stuck in my throat feeling a lot more. Um, I have also been eating ice like a crazy woman. Like, I don't crave it and go specifically, like, go get cups of ice, but if I'm drinking something with ice in it, I can't wait to get to the ice, and I eat it until it's gone, when normally... It doesn't really bother me that bad. Um, and as far as like symptoms go, that's really about it. I really don't have a lot of the um, typical symptoms. I don't pee a lot, but I've always just had a really odd bladder. Um, I drink. I feel like plenty during the day. I don't. Um, I don't. I'm not dehydrated or anything. Um, I can't think of how many ounces those bottles are that I drink out of. Um, Jenny, I know you're saying it right now. I don't know how many there are. But I drink at least two of those at work. Um, and then I usually have about two when I get home. And that's really pretty good. That's... I don't know, it's good for me. I, I don't drink too much at work because if I have to keep getting up, um, well, my, then, you know, my bladder gets too full and it gets uncomfortable <laughs> while I'm sitting down at work, but, um, I try not to get up too much at work, but um, that doesn't mean I'm depriving myself. So, um, I also do not have to get up at all at night to go to the bathroom. Like, if I wake up at night, it's because my legs are hurting me, <laughs> or my hips, or whatever. Um, it's it's definitely not a pee thing. Um, so yeah, so that's nice. I, I do I do like that part um, that I don't have that. So I overall am feeling really good. I mean, given the circumstances of growing a human, I am doing pretty well. I am. Oh, there's been so many babies born lately, um, and it, I'm ready, <laughs> but I'm not, I, I mean, I am, but I'm not, um, I don't want her unhealthy or early or, or anything like that before she's ready, but, oh, I'm so ready to hold my newborn, um, so, congratulations to everybody that's had their babies lately, there's been, like, four, and I know there's, um, a few more waiting that I'm anxiously waiting for so yeah um so overall I do feel pretty good given all the circumstances of everything um but <laughs> with that said I did have a rather large emotional breakdown on Friday um I, I just feel like you know, every every day I am thankful for this baby, thankful for this pregnancy, thankful for um, just my job and my family, and I really kind of have, I really just get my mind right. I'm not really a negative thinker. Um, the glass is always kind of half full for me, and I just try to get my mind right every day and go on about my day regardless of what comes up I just kind of deal with it and, and, and I move on and I try to just stay um, you know positive and and happy throughout the day well Friday <laughs> apparently all the bad stuff that like I just skip over usually just got to me and it built up and built up and built up and built up and finally it just my cup runneth over <laughs> and I cried for about six hours on Friday <laughs> at work alone and then I cried all the way home from my mother-in-law's I just it's like I couldn't stop I was just it was literally an emotional breakdown I everything was just um 
it was it was just a frustrating day. Um, the the pain I, I feel and deal with on an everyday basis, I just try to uh, focus on the, the good things. Um, but I think eventually it just gets to me because I have this huge to-do list running through my head and all these things that I want to do with my family and um, the kind of mom and wife I want to be every day. And with the physical limitations of this pregnancy, it prevents me from doing that. And it's just really hard sometimes to accept that things are a bit more um, difficult this time. And to put my needs first and realize that I, I'm still growing a part of our family here and that it is okay for me to ask for help which is just not my personality it is not my personality to just say you know hey can you come over and make my kids lunch I mean or you know my little sister will come over sometimes and she's 12 and she's like a super amazing help with the kids um, she kind of will help keep enter them entertained while I do stuff but it's like, on an everyday basis, there's your everyday household chores that need to get done. Dishes, laundry, cleaning, vacuuming, whatever. Um, but then I have all this other stuff that I want to get done, like, you know, go through this cabinet or organize this drawer or clean the bathrooms. Um, things that you don't do every single day, especially in preparation for a baby. And it's like, by the time I get done doing what needs to be done, or I decide to do something else fun with the kids instead there's not enough physically left in me to keep going and so then that other stuff that I wanted to do um, just gets put on the back burner or I have spent all day out at the at the park or the water park with the kids and then I come home and I just am physically drained I, I can't do anything else and, and my patience runs short and it's frustrating and I think just emotionally it just finally all caught up with me like I couldn't suppress the feelings anymore and so then just one little thing just kind of caught me off guard and it was just it was just upsetting I felt like um, I don't know I just it was just completely overwhelming it completely overtook me it was like uh, I couldn't I couldn't get out of it <laughs> um, I just try to you know be what everyone needs me to be and and be you know the mom and wife that I want to be and the friend and the daughter and the daughter-in-law and just all of my roles and it's it's hard for me to step back and say look I gotta take a break for a second or actually if you want me to do that I'm gonna need some help or I do have some other few things to do so can you come help me or things like that it's just it's just my personality to just take care of it all get it all done and and go on um anyway so that's a lot of rambling about nothing sorry but um yeah I, I just thankfully I had you know my husband help yank me out of that and then I also had um, you know, I have the best friend in the world to help yank me out of these yucky situations that I get into and my emotional just depression that I went into on Friday and um, so thank you for that. Um, so because of Friday night and just finally I just hit a wall, um, my husband and my good friend were able to just kind of listen to me, just just vent and and um, Risty and I were able to get the girls' room done on Friday, which that in itself just made me feel a ton better. Um, even though I was still like sniffly and just kind of snippy and yucky and I was just exhausted from crying and just kind of beat down and eyes swollen um, we got the girls' room done Friday and, and I really just needed his his help and his, his undivided attention to just do what I needed to get done and 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 he did and he's been really good and he's been good previously but it, like I said he can't read my mind and 
neither can anyone else for that matter and so it was just I don't know it, it's been so much better now so he knows that I'm you know struggling with this emotionally and that it really is an everyday battle that I fight um so anyway that's that's better um so the girls' room was finished Friday I'll show you that in a separate video um our room was finished Sunday I, I got our little um her changing table and diapers and things like that are kept in our room and I got that all organized and gone through and finished um so it's just the I just have to make it <laughs> to till she gets here which just now is just a matter of time it's just a little bit more time and I can do it and I'm positive I can can get through it and make it I just have to realize that this is all temporary and I'll be back to my old superhuman I can do it all by myself um, shortly so I just have to keep my mind right so still to do for the baby is um, I need to wash all her clothes um, but I'm gonna wait um, even though I've asked for no gifts at the shower I just I know my mom has some stuff she wants to give us and um, my mother-in-law and so I'm super thankful for that but I, um, I'm just going to wait to wash everything till closer to the end um, because we'll probably still pick up, pick up a few more things here and there too. Um, I've got to get a new breast pump um, because I'm going to be using that thing when I go back to work heavy duty so I need it to last. Um, I need to make my final diaper purchase, which I'm doing tomorrow. I cannot believe, guys, that I'm going to have a newborn and I'm going to spend my last $200 on diapers ever. Like, that's just crazy to me. That's exciting that um, that's all I ever have to spend anymore is $200 bucks and um, I'll be done buying diapers forever. So, I'm totally excited. Um... Gosh, I cannot wait to just email her and say, here it is, done. Um, so excited. Um, I've got to complete the home birth list. I've got to get that stuff off my list um, for the home birth. It needs to all be purchased by 36 weeks, even though there's no way in hell I'm going to deliver it 36 weeks. I never do. There's no way. Um, I mean, I know never say never. I, I just, it's just not how, it's just not how my body works. Um. I'm going to laugh. I would be totally shocked and floored if I went into labor at 36 weeks. Um, but just in case, I've got to have it marked off the list. So, um, I also need to order my home birth kit. The one for, that, that has more of like the medical supplies and stuff in it from the, um, from the website. Um, I need to get little odds and ends like Lansino and baby pacifiers things like that and and we're really we're really just done after that we really don't need much else just um just her Yeek. uh and I, I can't wait to get to that point where i'm just waiting on her where there's just nothing else to do nothing else on my to-do list no stressing out about anything except for when am i going to go into labor i cannot wait to just have that on my to-do list labor that's it um I'd also like to have one more date night with my husband. Um, let the kids go to my in-laws um, because neither one of them are nursing anymore. So they love to spend the night over there. They've spent the night over there maybe four or five times now. Um, so I, I want to do like a date night with my husband like overnight maybe like a bed and breakfast or a hotel but then again it's with all this stuff left on my to-do list it's so hard for me to wrap my head around spending money on that when I need to be spending money for baby. My um, keep my marriage awesome and exciting is fighting my practicality of I need to get this stuff done for baby. <laughs> um, so I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but, um, oh gosh, uh, I'd really like to. So in a perfect world, that's what would happen. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I can hope. So anyways, I've, um, 
rambled on for 15 minutes. 10 minutes of that was about my stupid leg. I hate complaining about that. Um, and I'm really not complaining. I'm really just trying to vent what I'm going through to kind of heal. <laughs> Help myself, really. So, um, anyway, I will show you guys the belly. We went to a water park this past weekend and wore my bikini. <laughs> And that was all great and fun, and I did really well, and kept myself all sunblocked up, and somehow one little spot, I have a spray sunblock, so I don't know how, it wasn't a matter of like not rubbing lotion in in the right area, I have a spray sunblock, and I was like really diligent several times, mind you, of going all over my belly, and it just got the one little spot you'll see when you see my belly shot, so... Besides that, I've got a few more videos to upload. Um, I've got nursery to do, um, and I've got the baby buys, which are like, I should have been doing the whole time. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to do um, a few other videos, so be looking for those. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Okay, here is the belly. I hope y'all can see. It's kind of a weird angle for me. And these are one of the only pair of shorts that I have left that fit. And they were my biggest when I first got them. But, yeah, so that's that. So there's, oh, what is this? Well, I'm 34 weeks pregnant, so this is how big I got during week 33. And my belly got a little pink this weekend. <laughs> I have one random sunburn spot right there. She's getting big. Oh, and at the chiropractor today, we definitely did confirm that my ligaments are off, and that is why my stomach shifts. I always say I feel like it's crooked. Well, that's because the main ligaments in my uterus, they're shifted to the left, which is what causes so much pain on the left hand side of my body so yeah I'm not just crazy but yes that's why that line is crooked yep and here's a full body shot for y'all give y'all an idea not just my belly of what I look like proportionately.